Andy, uh, at the 2010 uh, Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, you don't have to go far to see something unusual or unique or interesting, but this one kind of got my attention. For the moment, I'm going to call it the uh, the sofa on the edge of forever, but uh, your, your, your little... Uh, your, your little two-seat side-by-side construct here is just fascinating. How did you come up with this? Well, you know, this has uh, its roots in a, a very similar looking thing a long time ago. Um, you know, everybody has a different attraction to ballooning. Some people want to take all their friends with them. Some people just want to go by themselves. And we have a one-man unit just for that. But this is an adaptation of that. It allows you to, to fly with a, with a good friend and the seated position and, and just kind of relax and hang out. And it's, it just creates a whole different feeling when you fly. It's called a chariot. It's a two-person chariot. You know, we haven't built a lot of these for the U.S. It's much more popular in Europe. But we're hoping by having it on display here, we'll get some people excited. Now, a system like this, if, if somebody is interested in, in a configuration like this, uh, what's it going to take to get it? How much is it going to cost? And is there any unique aspects to its handling or the training for it? Yeah, similar price to a, to a conventional hot air balloon. You know, we're in the $35,000, $38,000 range for a brand new equipment. And in terms of flying, it does have a couple of nuances. You do need a balloon that has turning vents. Turning vents are, are vents that we have inside the balloon that allow you to rotate the aircraft. They don't turn you directionally, they just rotate it. So when you come in for a landing in a chariot, you come in forward, so going in this direction, and then make up your landing approach, uh, start, start to flare out, then you'd use those turning vents to rotate you 180 degrees, and you actually land backwards. And I would assume you're trying to eliminate any side li sideways lift to prevent any damage to the propane tanks. Yeah, the, I mean, the propane tanks are pretty rugged. Uh, part of the certification process we go through is drop testing tanks, so we know they're rugged. But it's just a lot more comfortable to land backwards that way as you drag across the ground, losing all <laughs> your momentum. Uh, you're not scraping up your knees. And is there any difference overall in the handling or, or how you would operate this system? No, it's, it's very similar to a conventional balloon. We have two fuel tanks. We have a single burner that has lots of redundancy in it. It's got two completely separate fuel systems. So it would handle just like a regular balloon. And it would be a similar size, too. We, we talked earlier about balloons being measured by volume. Typical size for this configuration would be 65 to 77,000 cubic feet. So that's, that's a fairly standard size. And how much weight can this particular system handle? If you had a 65, you're looking at about 1,300 pounds of gross lift. The chariot is, is fairly lightweight. Of course, we do have a lot of fuel to take with us, and, and uh, depending on the size of your, your passengers, but it's, it's a pretty capable aircraft. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.